Hi, I'm Bill McPhee, CEO of Magpie Media Inc., your partner in mental wellness. Welcome to today's video blog. Today I had a question from uh, Karen, and Karen uh, writes, she says, uh, Dear Bill, I have come across information stating that small amounts of caffeine can help those with schizophrenia or schizoaffective cognitive, uh, cognitively, with other sources have said it should be avoided. Do you feel that enjoying one or two cups of coffee per day is okay? Thank you, Karen. Well, Karen, let me uh, first of all talk a little bit about that. Is that, uh, yes, we hear reports that uh, whether we should be drinking uh, coffee and having caffeine or if caffeine is good for you or if it's not. And uh, my, uh, my reasoning with this question is that, first of all, let me give you the personal experience. Uh, I don't drink coffee, but I am a big tea drinker and used to drink a lot of tea. And uh, for the past two months, um, I have cut my tea down to drinking uh, two cups of tea a day. And uh, what that does, what I found is that I've had much more energy because I think that the caffeine was acting almost as a little sedating effort uh, or a sedating effect and it was uh, slowing me down. And one of the things about living or about um, limiting, uh, limiting your amount of caffeine is that when you do have a cup of coffee uh, or two a day, it gives you something to look forward to. You actually enjoy it more. For example, when I was drinking tea, I'd be drinking it constantly. I'd literally have, you know, 10 cups a day and uh, be drinking it throughout the whole day. But by limiting to two cups, uh, I looked forward for those uh, times when I could drink it and I actually enjoyed it more. Now, secondly, to your question as far as will one or two cups of coffee help or hinder you or be harmful to your day you know what i think the rule of thumb is that in everything in, is with moderation uh everything is moderation so i think uh nothing is really totally bad for you except for alcohol or street drugs i wouldn't uh, i tell people and i recommend that you stay a hundred percent away from alcohol whether it be wine, beer, spirits, whatever it is, 100% away from alcohol and 100% away from street drugs because there's just no good that comes from alcohol and there's no good that comes from street drugs. So, Karen, I hope I've answered your question. And uh, if you have a question for me, feel free to email me at bmcphee at magpiemags.com and uh, check us out on our website at at uh, mentalwellnesstoday.com. So thank you for tuning in and have a great day.